Amanda Holden turned heads as she left her Heart FM radio show on Tuesday. The presenter, 50, put on a colorful display in a bright orange coat and a matching knit jumper with flared jeans while strutting out of the Global Studios in London. She added Antha Pop of Orange with a small chic leather handbag and tinted chunky sunglasses. Her blonde locks were pulled back in a chic bun and her glam makeup enhanced her flawless complexion. Amanda completed the look with a pair of nude suede pointed heels that gave her modelesque frame an extra boost. Dot. It comes after Amanda revealed she presented Simon Cowell with a pair of stabilizers after he suffered another horror e-bike crash and was rushed to hospital last week. The TV star revealed the music mogul, 62, loved his new gift which she hilariously revealed she had bought during a recent Heart FM show. Taking to Instagram during his son Eric's eighth birthday party, she shared an adorable snap as she beamed alongside her Britain's Got Talent co-star. In her caption, she wrote, So I bought at Simon Cowell some stabilizers. He loved them. On Wednesday, Simon told Mail Online he was a bit of a nutter having narrowly avoided serious injury during the crash, when he wasnt wearing a helmet. Amanda referenced the incident on Thursday's Heart FM episode, as she admitted she isnt convinced Simon won't get on an e-bike again. Her co-host Ashley Roberts, 40, said, We spoke about the fact that Simon Cowell had another accident on his bike didnt we, now he said HES not going to get on bikes ever again, which I think is a smart thing to do. Amanda admitted she wasnt sure whether that will happen, and Ashley joked, unless he gets a little tricycle with a bell, where he can ring and warn people. Revealing her gift for the X Factor Supremo, Amanda said, That's true, although I did order, I've ordered him some stabilizers, I'm seeing him on Sunday, I'm going to give them to him. Ill video it. Amanda also quipped that she will encourage Simon to complete a cycling proficiency so he can learn how to ride a bike properly. Simon said he is feeling better since the crash, telling Mail Online, I'm okay. I'm feeling much better thank you. It happened just round the corner. After being told that locals had seen him whizzing around the local streets at high speed on a number of occasions before the crash, he admitted, I'm a bit of a nutter. I'll definitely wear a helmet next time.